Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC, and I'm, I'm here today with Obi Bobby Kenobi. <laughs> I'm here with my best friend Keith. <laughs> Would you stop it? <laughs> I told the guy I wanted to talk about lasers. That's what I was doing. I was yeah, doing I know. a laser I, intro. Yeah, Did you not like that? Well, that's why we don't recommend people use lasers with our E3s and E4s. But anyway, the question comes up uh, because people can get a little laser a little bit thicker than this about this size. They want to just mount it to an E3, E4, and they do a laser engraving. Now, from a mechanical point of view, that looks pretty safe. So what is the issue, and why don't we want to support that? Well, it's actually safety. I mean, uh, for one, like, uh, I might decide that maybe Velcro would work, and you know, it seems to work okay. Okay. And then something happens, like vibration, or it comes loose, and then it falls over, you know, while I'm looking at the work really close, and it goes across my eye, and I'm blind. So, you know, we could say, well, don't Velcro it. And then, you know, what about duct tape? That's pretty good, right? Yep. You know, but, but, but the same thing, unless your machine, like you said before, is really designed for a uh, laser, it's just really not a good idea. So, yeah, so, so we're, just, we're just not going to support it. But for me, personally, it's, I don't want to do uh, uh, physical harm to any of our customers. I mean, it's, it's just, it's not worth it to There's us. a serious risk. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's not a, you know, both Keith and I may have been burned a little bit by our lasers because... <laughs> We may have not been treating them with the respect that they could, but but they were on our fingers. Yes. However, if something goes across your eye, then it's not so you're much. Done. It's not funny anymore, right? right? Where right. it heals up and stuff. You're blind for the rest of your life, which for some of our customers may be a wow. Maybe not so much for. for <laughs> what, you expect me to tip over any time now? Hoping. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, one of the one of the things I discovered as I was doing some research on this is uh, manufacturers will recommend that you get uh, uh, eye protection oh, yeah, absolutely. that is rated for the uh, wavelength or the color of the laser wow, you're, you're using. talking engineering to me now, buddy. No, I just said wavelength oh, and color. Oh, that's good. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but doesn't mean I understand what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, well. But one of, the, one of the scariest things I saw is a guy had uh, ordered some different uh, laser protective glasses. Right. And uh, one was rated to cover the entire light spectrum. Wow, that would be impossible. Well, they'd have to be absolutely black. Yeah, it'd be know. like a hunk of steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and well, anyway, so you know, you, you you can't even be sure. I don't know how to say this without sounding really nasty, but there there are a lot of people selling stuff online that are just not ethical. Right. Well, it's not true. I mean, he did a test, right? Right. And you saw the one where he puts the laser and he puts a match. I've seen it where they put like a balloon. But either way, if you put a laser through your glasses, the safety glasses, and it lights a match or pops the balloon, obviously the laser yeah. light is getting through. And if it doesn't, if you do that, your, your glasses should start to heat up and deform, right? Because that's what they're supposed to do. Uh, the bottom line is, is just because a person says that their laser glasses are good, doesn't mean that they're good, but there is a certification, right? Well, yeah, you can get ANSI, ANSI certified yeah. glasses. Absolutely. And also, but the other thing you have to look for is optical density, and uh, that optical density goes Holy from cow, one to... This marketing guy no. is turning into, like, engineering No, guru. I'm just reading stuff. Oh, okay, all right. Because Sorry. it scared the pajamas out of well, me, thinking should. what could yeah. happen to somebody. Yeah. But the recommendation is you have to have an optical density of at least five, which means... Uh, approximately 99.9% .9 of the laser energy is captured by that lens and doesn't go through. Right. That would be a good thing, right, right. if you're, if you're uh, wanting to play with lasers. Now, here's just to illustrate here with, with this. You know, I was thinking of little kids, uh, you know, somebody picking up a laser and wanting to do a Star Wars kind of thing with a little brother and totally innocently, absolutely not understanding the consequences, blinding right. somebody. There's another thing, even when you know what you're doing and you're really careful, you don't have to uh, just worry about the direct energy coming from the laser, the direct beam. If you come across something that's stainless steel, something that's shiny, 
and you get a reflected beam, you can do just as much damage, Absolutely. and it's virtually instantaneous to your cornea. In fact, I saw a guy, he used a CO2 laser, that's what we use. Right. And, uh, of course, the light waves on ours are, are well, they're beyond our ability to see them. Mm -hmm. However, they're not <laughs> beyond our ability feel to them. feel no, them. Feel them for sure. <laughs> but anyway, what he did is he took a directed beam, but it, it wasn't going through a lens, so the focal length was really broad. Right. So you got a beam that's what about four millimeter across, something like that. Okay. And they took uh, eyes. Well, they, he went to a butcher and got eyes from uh, a butcher that had slaughtered a pig. Well, that's well, okay. it is kind of gross, but anyway, he set it underneath this laser and just did a pulse right. of power, and the cornea just turned white like that, brought in a uh, an eye specialist from a local university, mm -hmm. and who talked about how even with uh, the most successful surgery, uh, that anyone who had that kind of damage to a cornea would lose between... 5 to 30 percent of their eyesight, right. even after a corneal transplant. Yeah. So it's... Uh, Definitely. Yeah. So, so, yeah, the bottom line is, is for us is, is we're not going to support lasers, and we don't right. recommend them. But if you should buy another laser machine, uh, and uh, you, you should just pay attention. Your eyes are important. Make sure that you have certified glasses right. that stop the wavelength of the laser that you're using. Yep. And then just just be very conscious of you got light going there that can can do some real damage. Absolutely. So guys, till next time, stay safe. We want to see you again. All right. Next time.